Hi, my name is Jovi, and welcome back to Kids Corner. Today we are going to be talking about sin for our letter F. On Friday, somebody was being really, really mean to me. So that's when I heard in my thoughts, Jovi, you should probably talk about sin tomorrow. So that's what I did right now. The first thing we're going to be talking about is going to be how you can sin. In thoughts, words, and action. The first one is thoughts. You could say in your thoughts, Ugh, you're getting on my nerves. I feel like I could punch them. And the second one in thoughts could say, Ugh, I hate them so much I just want to hit them like that. Now, for the second one is words, we're going to combi combine thoughts and words together. So you could say with your words, Ugh, I just want, I am so glad I hate, I hate you and hit them. You could say, oh, you're getting on my nerves, and punch them. You'll get into a lot of trouble if you're at school. Now for the last one, we're combining words and actions all together. You could hit them and say, oh, I hate you, and like slap them. Or you could do, oh, you're getting on my nerves. I just want you to stop and punch them, like we said in the last one. Now for the second one, we're going to be talking about who sinned in the Bible. These are going to be five people. The first one was Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve got told by God to say, and he said, do not eat the fruit off the tree. But the snake told them not to eat, to eat the fruit off the tree. So that's what they did. You probably heard that story two years ago and probably still remember it. Moses, for our second one, got told to talk to the rock. But all he did was he stabbed the rock with a staff. That's disobeying God. The third one was David. Oh, he was a bad person. He said he got fell in love. He fell in love with somebody's wife. And you, and you maybe know what he did or told somebody to do. He told them, or maybe his slave, but we don't know, to kill the wife's husband so David could marry the wife. That was also disrespecting God. Peter denied knowing Jesus three times. That means lying about knowing Jesus. Even though he did know Jesus, people kept telling him, but he said no. So he said, nope, I don't know Jesus. I told you already, I don't know Jesus. Finally, I don't know Jesus three times. The last one is Jacob. He fooled his dad into being Esau. We talked about that story a couple months ago. And he put like the texture of like feeling it, it kind of felt scratchy because Esau was older than Jacob. So, and he had hairs on his arm. So, he wanted, he wanted to get all the money. Jacob wanted to get 
all the money so we could be rich. So that's what, and remember, his dad was getting blind, so that's, he, and that's definitely stealing because stealing Esau's personality and his name and his feel and his texture of his, of his hands and body. Now, what we're going to be talking about, commandments, the 10 commandments as your guideline. The first one is no gods before me. The second one, no idols, like we talked about in the couple months ago and the last one for I. The third one is don't say Lord's name in vain. That's definitely an important an important one. Four, keep Sabbath day holy. Five, honor mother and father. Don't murder. Sounds a lot like David. Seven, don't commit adultery that's definitely also an important one eight don't steal that also that sounds just like what jacob did he stole his esau's personality and the texture of his body and his name he told his dad that he was Esau. That was not good. The ninth one is really important. Probably is the, it probably is the most important one of the Ten Commandments. Don't lie. That also that sounds just like Peter. He denied knowing Jesus three times. The tenth one. Definitely, don't be jealous. That sounds just like David. He fell in love with somebody's wife. Now, let's pray. Dear God, please help us just remember the Ten Commandments of our lives and help us be our guideline. Please help us no never to sin and try to do the best we can not to sin because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And just, he washed, we wa he washed away our sins. Amen. Next, next story, we're gonna, goodbye. <laughs>